Hey everybody, welcome back to Freedom Garage. And this is a 2006 Pontiac GTO, the last of the GTOs. And when these were out and about, uh, I'm like most people who said that's not a GTO until I had the opportunity to drive one. Uh, and my friend had one and I'll tell you what, these bad Larrys had more power than their predecessors. Some people prefer the old style looks. Some people prefer the new style looks, but this is not your average. 2006 Pontiac GTO. This has a motor swap. And before I jump into that, I want to thank my friends over at Gary Jackson Motors. They're on Route 20 in Charlton. They have a second location, Route 12 in Oxford. And they have allowed me to take this out today and to, uh, to play with it a little bit. So I'm going to bring it to you all. I'm going to show you the outside of the vehicle, show you the inside of the vehicle, and I'm going to show you what's underneath that hood. And then we're going to take it for a ride. And I'll tell you what I think about it. This thing's pretty cool. Just the drive over here was pretty cool. Let's check it out. All right, guys, the 2006 Pontiac GTO with a cool engine swap we'll show you here in a minute. But this is the last of the Mohicans. This was the last year that Pontiac did a GTO. And some people are hoping and praying they bring it back. But with the end of the muscle era upon us in 2023, we'll see, I guess. The front still sports the two, I like the, the kidney grill with the GTO badging. The hood scoop up top here still has a very aggressive look. Apologize, the wind is really picking up so it might affect the audio, I apologize. We have custom rims with the red GTO calipers there. You got the original badging, it was a 6.0 liter. It's not anymore, a little hint for you. And we'll come around the side, you can see this gorgeous blue paint. Tires still have a lot of beef left on them. And again, this vehicle is available at Gary Jackson Motors. The numbers will be down below. All the links will be down below if you want to buy this. Somebody should buy this. We've got the GTO down on the diffuser with the dual exhaust. I'm not going to tell you that until we get into the motor and hear this thing purr. You got the spoiler on the rear deck on the trunk. Yeah, buddy. All right. Before we go inside, let's check out the beast within. All right, let's open this up. Boys and girls, if you know what you're looking at, you know that that is an LS3. That's right, an LS3 swap motor inside of a Pontiac GTO, and it brought this to life. I'll give you some of the upgrades here. There's going to be a lot more than I can detail here. If you want more information, contact Gary Jackson Motors, and they will fill you in. So we have a aluminum radiator, uh, the, obviously the 6.2 liter LS3 motor pushing out 430 horsepower. It has a performance camshaft. It has cook headers. It has a Borla exhaust. It also has a high stall torque converter, a rebuilt transmission with a shift kit, has an aluminum drive shaft to save some weight and an adjustable coilover suspension. This is legit guys and gals. This is not your average 2006 Pontiac GTO. All right, let's check out the inside and we'll take this bad Larry for a rip. All right, let's check it out. So immediately opening it up, we see we have the blue leather interior. Okay. Got the blue suede trim on the door panels. It is the blue and black two-tone peek before we get in it. We have the GTO stitching on the backrest. Okay, here we go. We have the uh, the stock Pontiac GTO dash for those who remember it. You got your uh, temperature gauge. You got your RPMs with the GTO moniker in the uh, center there. Our speedometer and our fuel gauge. Here we have our uh, light dimmer switch. All the controls there. Coming along the top here, we also have some switches to use to change your mode on the dash, your uh, trip computer, etc. Okay, on the steering wheel, we have uh, our audio controls so that we can keep our eyes where they need to be. And it is an adjustable column as well. Okay, on our center stack here, we have two vents as well as our hazard switch, our HVAC controls. We have a Blahpunk six disc changer, <laughs> CDs. Uh, for those young bucks watching this, a CD is like a circular, 
disc that you can have music and videos on. That's, <laughs> they don't have those much anymore. Our automatic transmission. In the rest of the center here towards the armrest, just in front of the armrest, we have our window controls, a little bit of storage, as well as in the front uh, here, in front of the shifter. Our armrest here will open up to expose the coin storage here. We have, for those who don't know what these are, these uh, dividers. This is so you can stick CDs in here, the, the uh, actual cases. And we have a 12 volt power source as well. Now here you have a little bit more storage. You can remove that. And there is more there if you want to have uh, something secret, like a love note. And then uh, that's pretty much the center column here. Passenger side, we have beautiful blue leather interior. Again, the suede panel on the door. This is actually a really, really nice interior still. Uh, whoever had this vehicle took really, really good care of it. I'll show you the customary view from the, the uh, rear view mirror there. You can see there is enough room for two adults. This is a four passenger vehicle. And now we're gonna start it. You're going to like this. Let's take it for a little spin and I'll tell you uh, what I think about it. Definitely sounds good. It spins tires going from first to second. This thing has a ton of power, guys. Oh yeah. Wow. This thing is beautiful. The interior is still comfortable, looks good, and rough road, but this car moves. It has giddy up. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's got a lot of power. A lot of power. The LS3 definitely woke this vehicle up. Yeah, you guys... Gary Jackson ships all over the world. So if you're interested in this or something else they have, check them out. The guys there are fantastic. They will definitely take care of you. Tell them Freedom Garage sent you, and they'll hook you up. Man, this thing's badass. Well, guys and gals, what do you think about this beast? That LS3 motor swap with 430 horse, the headers, the exhaust all done. It sounds great. It's a rocket ship uh, and it still turns heads here in 2022. This is a cool, and I love this blue. Uh, this blue is sick. Hopefully I got it to show off in the, uh, the video here. The flake in this thing is, is gorgeous. But uh, again, thanks to my friends over at Gary Jackson Motors for letting me bring this to you, the viewer here at Freedom Garage. If you want to see more of these videos, let me know in the comments down below. Like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the video. That way, YouTube knows that people want this stuff. And if you want to purchase this car or you want more information, I'll have the contact information for Gary Jackson Motors down below. Give them a yell. Tell them you saw it here on Freedom Garage, and I'm sure they will be happy to talk to you. All right, guys, until we see each other again with the next Wicked Cool Car Review, I want to thank you for your time, and uh, it really means a lot that you're here. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care.